Welcome back. It's not just authors like Colleen Hoover getting the book talk treatment. The Wall Street Journal reports sales of e-readers like Amazon's Kindle and Barnes & Noble's Nook have climbed over the past two to three years as Gen Z makes it a must-have accessory akin to the Stanley Tumblr. But it's not just devices. Barnes & Noble is also experiencing brick-and-mortar growth, opening 27 stores so far this year with another 34 planned. Let's check back in with James Daunt. He's the CEO of Barnes & Noble. It's great to have you back, James. Welcome. Thank you. Your stores are a place that my kids love, and I apologize for the mess that they leave in their wake. But uh, there's there's lots and lots of fun stuff to do. They look great, the new ones. Thank you very much. And they're, they're being very successful, so we're very pleased. Yeah, I, I think for it almost like a substitute downtown for, for people. You know, it's pouring rain, and you can bring people there and, and get together and so forth. How are sales of actual physical books doing? Uh, in volume growth, maybe inflation's a little bit of that? I think it is volume. We've um, we came out of COVID with a new customer base, which was a, a happy um, and, and slightly unexpected outcome. Uh, but better than that, it's just kept on growing since then. Our, our stores are full of people of all ages. Um, it's it is driven by young adults to a considerable degree. Uh, but every week we're a little bit better than the week before, and every month certainly so. So we're still feeling very good and and. You know, you had, a, you had somebody surfing a wave, and we certainly feel we are uh, doing that ourselves at the moment. <laughs> we'll let you borrow Mark Zuckerberg's meme. Um, have young adults always been reading romance novels, or, or is this something new and, <laughs> and different? And, is, and, and how is TikTok playing into that? I find this all so fascinating. To be honest, and, and you can see from, from what I look like that I've been bookselling a very long time indeed, um, young adults have always been the heart of good bookstores. Um, so we've always had them in our stores, and we've had, obviously, Harry Potter, and then you, you, you keep on having them wave after wave after wave of uh, things that excite them. Book Talk um, has been extraordinary because it's, it's changed its focus. It's been on classics. You know, we were selling lots of Jane Austen, and then it moved on to more popular books, and, and now we're very much in a sort of romancy type area, Sarah J. Maas, uh, Rebecca Yaros, that, that sort of market. Um, but, you know, blink and they'll, they'll start reading something else. Um, at the moment, it's, it's quite diffuse. They're reading lots and lots of different things. F fantasy is also a, a big one of interest. So do you, and I know it's not as if you're doing this directly yourself, but, but sort of those who are running each location, are they scouring book talk and trying to adapt quite quickly? If you mentioned that tastes change quickly, how quick do the bookstores have to be? Uh, bookstores have to be extremely quick, and, and I think one of the great advantages that we've had, actually, over, over the last few years is that we've sort of left the bookstores to do whatever they think is most sensible. So it's allowing um, us to, ad to adapt and adjust our stores very locally. Uh, one store becomes quite different to another as you walk in, what you find on the tables, what they're promoting. Um, and it's the booksellers in there that, that are able to do that because, of course, they're talking to their customers every day as well. Yeah, and I, I remember reading that that was going to be part of the strategy, and that's always been the fun, that discovery aspect of, of when you go into a new bookstore. So what's going on with e-readers? E-readers are um, sort of the, the, the cousin, as, as also audiobooks, that, um, right. in, in which how people choose to read and consume books. And it's exciting for us that, you know, people are actually engaged not just with physical books. I mean, they are primarily with physical books, but also uh, more e-reading going on um, and, and a lot more listening to books as well. So we, we can even engage uh, with readers as they, as they go for their morning jog. Yeah, as long as you have a piece of that, you know, we've been leaning into the local library ourselves. So my book buying is way down, but book consumption is probably higher than ever. And I figure it's probably all good for the ecosystem. Exactly. The more people who are engaged with books, the more people who are thinking in that way, um, uh, the better it is for us. And, and actually, I think probably, and it's probably not too much to say, it's the better it is for society. Yeah, amen. We'll leave it there. James Don, pr pleasure to check in with you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. See you.